Hello YouTube audience, welcome to the first episode of Shining Through the Pain podcast. My name is Henry Wallace Jr. along with my co-host, Antoine Hill. Yes, my Instagram handle is at RealKingHenry. You know, give me some follows, give me some shout out out there, let me know what y'all think about the podcast. We appreciate, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Let's get into it. Yeah, my Instagram handle is a clumsy dad one. Part of this podcast is to just shine some... Some mental health awareness, you know, some awareness, shine some light on a, on a dark situation. You know, we're going through a lot of dark times right now. You know, a lot of people going through a lot of things. You know, we having a lot of, you know, a lot of deaths and families and things of that nature. You know, a lot of people not talking about these type of things, you know, and sometimes not talking about them because, you know, can, can hurt you, can really hinder you. So that's what we're here for. We're here to shine a light on some dark situation. That's what, that's what this is about. So let's get into it. So, first of all, let me get a shout out to my mans right here. This for 30 sure. years of friendship right here, man. I appreciate sure. this guy right here, and I appreciate him for taking the chance of even trying to do this. Mm-hmm. First off, where'd you grow up? How, 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 how what you remember about growing up, man? We, we, ne- we also next door neighbors. We grew up literally next, next door, door to, to each, each other. other. Yes, so, this is, this is real family right yes, here. Sir. 30 years. Like, this, this, real, this real genuine shit. This ain't nothing phony. Ain't nothing phony about this. Yes, sir. Parents still live next door to each other. Pop still sit outside talking and cutting grass at the same time, you know. I grew up in College Hill. Came through Saint, came through uh, Seven Hills, you know, but ended up in College Hill. College Hill is my home, you know. Met this guy, was living in the house. You know, my, my parents was living in their house first. This guy, he moved in. Couple years later, you know, and like he say, been about thirty years of friendship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thirty years of realness, no beef, no problems, no nothing. We don't owe each other no money. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, ain't none of that type stuff going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bro. So, what you remember about what you remember about high school, my brother? Man, what you remember about going to high school? What you remember about the high school days? The nineties, the mid nineties, that is anyway. What y'all, what you remember about the high school days? Mid nineties, high school days, man. Uh, Got the Whitrow in 90. Graduated in 94. I got there, man. It was like East Side High, man. You had. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was crazy, man. It was like a whole different world coming from CBA. You know? It was just a whole different world, man. And just being a freshman and seeing all the, the O5Bs and the Dukes Feminas and people of that nature, you know? Uh it's just a different world, man. But by ninety, by the time I graduated, man, it was like home. It was like family, you know. It was just, just, just love, man. And um, like I say, I'm always gonna be proud to be a tiger. It was a swoop, for sure. No, nah, I, well, I, I started off at. I actually, I, I, I came up through my healthy. You know what I'm saying? Up until I moved to College Hill around ninety two. So I was a freshman at Mount Healthy, then I went to Aiken my sophomore year, and I went to Hughes, Big Red, my senior, my junior and senior year. Okay. So those are the years I'm saying, like, so my, so coming from Mount Healthy and coming to Cincinnati Public School, it was it was it, it, it was a different change. It, it wasn't really super much different. It wasn't a whole lot different. Like it, it was it was a little change because you had all these different neighborhoods and people from different areas and different backgrounds coming to one school. So. It was cool. It was different. It was a lot of females at Hughes. I do remember that. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, you know I'm saying? I got a, a communications background from there and stuff, so I, I kind of got a little experience in this. And Right now, I'm currently taking digital and social media marketing, so, you know, we're going to exercise that, and we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to try to make it see what it do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Most of these videos, probably all these videos will be recorded by this brother right here, you know. Yes, sir. Get at me. I do your editing. I do your photo. I do whatever for you, man. We make anything look how you want to look, man. At Real King Henry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? On Instagram. Hit me up, man. We're going to do this YouTube thing, too. Everything going to work out. Everything going to coincide. We're going to make it happen. We can do what it do. Take pictures. Yep. Take your picture. I'll make you look pretty and everything. If you're, you're funny looking, we'll make you look pretty. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll do all that for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, anyway... um. So 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 how how tell tell the people how we got here how 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 we got to doing this and how this all came about and you know what I'm saying what's the idea and the purpose about it and how we actually ended up right here right in here. this very spot. 
pain, bro. So, I got a YouTube channel called The Clumsy Dad. And, you know, got a couple followers, you know. Check me out on YouTube with Clumsy Dad. Um, my story's on there, but a brief part of my story, like I say, man, um, long story short, my son got murdered in 2020, 18 years old. Didn't think I could go on, didn't know why I would go on. But for some reason, I'm still here. You know, so I, I started my YouTube channel just to just talk about how I felt, you know. Just talking about how I felt is just a way of therapy. And then, you know, me and Henry, like I, like he say, we didn't know each other for 30 years, but we don't talk every day. But we always talk. And whenever we talk, it's always love, you know, and he shared with me that he was doing videography and things of that nature. And I'm like, man, that's dope, boy. Because if you've seen any of my videos, it's just taking on a cell phone. Now you got to sit in the lights, you know. So purpose is just the 2020. A lot of people encountered a lot of pain. He'll tell you his story in a minute. But um, you got to talk about it, man. You can't hold it inside. So that's the reason why we're here. Yeah, that's a fact. So the reason, the reason why I'm here, the reason I want to do this, you know, we we all go through pain. I'm, I'm personally, I'm I'm an anxiety sufferer, but I, I've learned to kind of manage it lately. Like through this last year and through this pandemic, you know, I, I've learned, you know, to, to kind of balance my mental. You know what I'm saying? Find other ways to be constructive. Find other ways to be creative. So that's the main reason why I'm here. I want to be creative. I want to support my guy. I want to support. You know, like-minded people that want that, that's on what we own. You know what I mean? So, you know, just through this whole pandemic, I just I just learned just just how to try to be creative, figure out ways to express ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And, and figure out ways to come together, man. Especially us as black men. You know what I'm saying? I feel we all need to come together because there's too much negativity out here. You know what I mean? And I, I'm not really with the negativity. So, through my YouTube channel, I plan to you know shed shed light on pain through humor. You know, exercise videos. You know. Any and everything, anything in a positive light I can do to shine on, on, on the world, man, is, is what I plan on doing. Hey, how many people from Hills seen Henry in a long time? That's big hand you now. My passion is food, man. You know what I'm saying? But seeing this guy is going to motivate me to shape up a little bit. You know what I mean? So we're we, we going to feed off of each other, man. We're going to benefit each other, you know? Now, as you can see, Mary, you know, you got kids. I got grandchildren, and I just refuse to let them outwork me. I refuse to let them run me down and beat me down and make me feel like I'm an old man because I'm far from an old man, man. So we're going we gonna to make it do what it do, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's dope, man. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 so tell us some more, man. Just, just give us some more background of, you know, what, 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 what you plan on getting out of this. What, what you want out of this? What, what you want the people to get out of this? The main thing I want the people to get out of this is just to know that in spite of, you know, in spite of whatever you're going through, whatever you've been through, our minds trick us, whatever you anticipate to go through, there's still hope. I lost my son, man, 18 years old, just starting to live. He was taken from me. It's taken from his twin brother, his mom, his sisters, his grandparents, cousins. And I'm sitting in here front in front of a camera, and I can still tell you that I still got hope. So if I got hope, and I'll tell you a lot about me in the future episodes, anybody can have hope. What about you, my brother? That's a fact. Like just 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 as of recently, maybe beside maybe 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 right before spring springtime came around, you know, I, I was dealing with a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. I had grandparents that passed back to back within three weeks of each other, you know. So I, I was down for a minute. I was down, but but at the same time, it, it it was something that just told me to just just get up and just just be active and just be proactive and just fight through it and be be creative. 
know what I mean? Just find alternate routes to deal with your anxiety. Find alternate routes to make yourself feel better. So that, that that's what I've been doing. So that's what I want to spread. I want to spread the positivity of, you know what I'm saying, not not being swallowed up by your own thoughts and stuff. You, you know how that feels, yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you know what I'm saying? Not, not letting your thoughts swallow you, not letting your thoughts take control of you, but instead you take control of your thoughts. You take control of your destination. Find a passion. Find something you like to do. Find something to make you feel good. Find find an outlet, you know what I'm saying, to, to make you feel better, you know what I mean? Because you, if you're productive, you feel better. The people around you feel better about being around you, you know what I'm saying? You give off a positive energy, you know? And that's that, that's what I'm about, you know what I mean? I'm all about positive energy, working with like-minded people, and we're going to make it do what it do, you dig? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got some workout videos, too, don't you, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We show gonna, stuff like that. Yeah, you know we don't get I mean? into that. Like I'm sure. saying, I'm, I'm 43 years old, but I, I probably feel better now than I probably have ever felt in a long time. Mm -hmm. And that just comes from reading, keeping myself busy, working out. 45 an hour every day, you know what I'm saying? Just just a little bit to keep keep yourself going, you know what I'm saying? And it feel good, you know what I'm saying? That's how I deal with my anxiety. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel good about myself. It makes me feel better about getting out of bed in the morning, you know what I'm saying? It makes make me want to get out of bed in the morning to get stuff done. And It was a time I didn't want to get out of bed, you know what I'm saying? It was a time I just wanted to be stuck in the bed, but... You know, you got, you got sometimes you got to shake yourself out of there and find yourself a purpose. You know, I got kids and family. So that's my main purpose. If I ain't no good, I'm no good to them. You know what I'm saying? So I got to think about that also. So I, I got to find a purpose out here, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and find a different lane. I tried it one way. Now we're going to try it a different way, you know what I mean, and see what we come up with. You found a strong way to get up, huh? Found a strong way to get up, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, 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 I want to, you know, lead by example, mm -hmm. you know. And I got a son. I got, got five, four, four daughters and a son. And I got uh, got five grandchildren, you know, you want to lead by example, you know, you want to keep it moving, you know, I, my, my, they, they my motivation. I want to be moving more than them, I want to be up before them, I want to go to sleep after them, I want to be up before them, I want to work hard. That's Right now, that's what I'm on, man, and it feels good. to be here to see them grow, huh? Exactly, you know what yes, I'm saying? Sir. And I also want to teach them my work ethic, you yes, know what sir. I'm saying? You want to teach them to get up, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these kids, they swallowed up in this in, the, in this internet era, and, and it's swallowing them up, man. You know what I'm saying? And we, I'm just trying to show them a different route, man. You know, I, I don't want to let the internet swallow me up or let negativity swallow me up. So I've been focused on what I want to do, focus on how I want to do it, focus on why I want to do it, how I want to get it done, who I want to get it done with, you know what I mean? And I want to work with like-minded people that's trying to get it done called formulating a plan, you know? Because one thing that losing my son at 18 taught me is that we don't have a lot of time. You know? Uh, to literally do or die, right? Borrowed time is what I call it. Yes, sir. What was that? What did you say earlier? We living on borrowed time. Yes, sir. You Most know? definitely living on borrowed time, man. Yes, You've a lot of people around you pass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Seeing your friends pass. And yeah. You know, so that's why I, I'm gonna try to preach exercise. I know, I know we don't eat the best. I know I still don't eat the greatest. I try to watch the stuff I eat mm -hmm. and try to eat less of it. You know what I'm saying? Try to eat more healthy stuff and less of the, you know, mm -hmm. and try to work out and and and, and you know, because I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all people out there. But a lot of people that stressed out and y'all don't know what's wrong with y'all. You probably need to hit the gym. You probably need to go sweat. You probably need to do something physical. And I'm telling you. You'll probably feel better. You know they'll feel better. You'll probably feel better, man. That's, that's on everything. I'm going to put it on everything. Man. You, yeah. you, mentally, you'll feel better. Do you like, feel better, bro? Mentally, I feel better. Because yes, without sir. the mental, don't nothing else work. Like, you know what I'm saying? If, yeah. if the mental ain't right, everything else hurts. Like, I've been there, too. I've been through depression. I know how depression feels. I know how the body hurt. I know when the mental ain't, ain't right, mm -hmm. the body hurt. The body ain't right. So if your mind ain't right, your body ain't right. It, it all follows. It all starts upstairs. It all starts with the mind first, because the, the mind can trick the body, make you feel a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? You got to try to control your mind. The way I've been controlling my mind is just trying to be creative, trying to find something to do. You know what I'm saying? Staying busy, staying active, staying moving. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's how I've been coping with my anxiety and my stress. Just keep it pushing. Just keep moving. Like I ain't, I haven't moved like this in a while. Like I, I, I be moving like. And I like it, and I and I, and I be outside, man. Get one with nature, y'all. Don't let them, 
Don't let nobody trick y'all and fool y'all standing in the house, man. Go get one with nature, man. Get some sun on your face, man. You know what I'm saying? Get out the house. Get out the phone. Get out the internet, man. Go get some sun on your face, man. Sure. That's one thing I've been doing, man. When I'm in my car, I keep the sunroof open. No doubt. Mm -hmm. And let that sunlight just shine on me, man. You know, one thing they always said about me is that, you know, too short had a big old head. Those that with her know who too short is, you know. <laughs> but, uh... Hell yeah, man. There's a lot of knowledge in this big old head, though, you know? And let that vitamin D, man, just shine down on it, man. It's, it's, it's feeding me, you know? So, uh, like he said, just get outside. Just move and move forward, you know? The things behind you are behind you. The things that are in front of you is, is what matters. That's another thing, man. We were talking about earlier, man. You know what I'm saying? You got, I, like, I let go of stuff that happened 20 minutes ago, mm -hmm. man. I refuse to harp on anything. Mm -hmm. I refuse to. If ain't nobody bleeding, ain't nobody shot, ain't nobody down, ain't nobody. If it's, if it's something we can get past, man, move past it. Like, it's not that serious. Yes, no sir. harm, no foul. Yes, sir. Keep it moving, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what I preach. I don't harp on nothing 20 minutes ago. I ain't about to argue with nobody. Mm -hmm. We ain't about to go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Life is too short and time is too precious, man, to be on the negativity. Man. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's how I've been a negative cat. I've been in a negative situation. Been in bad situations. God bless me. I'm glad I'm glad I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So obviously I'm here for a purpose. So, you know, we're going to see what we can do, man. We're going to see what we can do, man. Like I said, thank y'all for tuning in to Shining Through the Pain podcast, episode one. I appreciate y'all out there. and. We're going to see what we can come up with, man, man. See if we, see if we can reach some people out there. Because through through, one thing through this pandemic, man, I, I, I've been listening. I've been learning to a lot, of, a lot of gyms, a lot of stuff. Picking up a lot of knowledge, reading a lot of books during the last year. And I just got a whole different perspective mm -hmm. on life, money, family. You know what I'm saying? Even through your situation. Like, we family. Yes, sir. So I learned from your situation. You know, I learn from everybody's situation. You know what I'm saying? I, I pick, I pick situations. I pick gems from everybody's situations, and I apply it to myself as necessary, and I learn from it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's what I hope y'all get from this podcast, a learning session, because yes, it's all about teaching, man. It's all about teaching and learning, man. If you feel like you're too old to learn, just, just give up. That's yeah. how I feel. As long as my mind working and I'm strong, man, I'm, I'm gonna always learn something. I'm gonna soak up game. I'm going to share a game, you know what I'm saying, and, and that's how we're going to move forward, that's how we're going to do it. Yeah. This pandemic taught us to reset, gave us a chance, man. That's a fact. Gave us a chance, gave us another chance, you know. Yeah, so all y'all out there was stressing and going off on shit and worried about shit that don't matter, me, I was sitting worried about thinking of a plan, mm -hmm. worried about what do matter, mm -hmm. knowing that, knowing that everything, you know what I mean, this shit ain't promised. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I've been thinking of different alternative ways, how we going to do this, how we going to express ourselves, how we going to get to the money, how we going to figure it out, we're going to figure it out with our mind. We ain't going to figure it out with our backs, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, I'm gonna say, say some that. back for me. Say you know that. what I'm saying? I'm going to say some back for myself, man. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I'm going to put the work in, man, I'm going to use my back for me, man. I'm going to say my back for me from now on. Yes, so we're going to use our mind to get through this, and we're going to figure this shit out. Yes, sir. So I guess, man, we're going to get out of here. It's, it, it's been a pleasure, my brother. First man, one. First one. 30 years. Yes, I appreciate sir. you. Love you, man. You already know what it too, is. Man. And, uh, but everybody out there, know this was done with nine PPP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't do that fraudulent stuff out here, man. No judgment. Ain't nothing fraudulent over here. No judgment. One love, though, people. One love. Peace.